please, if, if, you, uh, if you have a situation where you're home doing nothing and you have no loved ones that you have to care for and, and you're the type of person that likes to volunteer some time, uh, go down to the high school or call the Civil Defense at 1185 and uh, they'll be happy to, uh, to hear from you. Uh, once again, uh, we're, we're due to get by midnight or by late tonight up to 12 inches of snow before a brief changeover to uh, freezing rain and, and rain possibly along the coast. Uh, high tide is, is due at another 45 minutes, but the real critical high tide will be tomorrow morning at 3.30 a.m. Uh, you're watching some storm footage that was uh, shot uh, about 20 minutes ago by George DeSalnias. Uh He's just now approaching uh, the Highlands area. And again, uh, we urge you, the police department, the uh, Civil Defense uh, Board of Selectmen urges you to stay off the road. Uh, it's a real, real serious situation out there, and it's deteriorating each minute. This is a shot of the ocean right now. Uh, Bob DeLeo, uh, our state rep, has been uh, keeping abreast of the situation. Uh, Bob happens to be uh, out of town uh, with a tournament that his son is involved with for hockey. And we're going to go live with him at when we get uh, through with this storm footage, which should be a few minutes. And, uh, and Bob can update us on exactly what the state is prepared to do for the, for the town in the event that we have a real uh, critical situation in terms of damage and so forth. Um, we had a, a volunteer, not a volunteer, but a person called in earlier and talking about how to prepare for a storm. Uh, we talk about flashlights and batteries and so forth and maybe setting the temperature a little higher on your thermostat so if there is a power failure at least the, the house is a little warmer to start with and it'll take that much longer for it to cool down uh, but someone called in they brought up a, a point that you might want to make some tea or coffee or or maybe soup and and put it in a thermos for later on just in case if you have an electric range and you wouldn't be able to use it again so those are kind of a, a tip that was called in by one of our viewers we're at the Highlands here now, approaching uh, Revere Street. And again, this, this, is, this was footage taken about 20, 25 minutes ago. That's uh, Revere Street by JJ's going up the hill. Uh, we attended a meeting this morning at the selectman's office, and all the preparations are, are in effect and waiting. Uh, the Paul Revere Bus Company is available in, in the need uh, that we need to evacuate or take some folks down to the, um, the center down at the high school, the evacuation center. Uh, the town uh, garage or the DPW, all the men reported for work at 2 o'clock or just reporting uh, maybe 15 minutes ago. The tree department is certainly uh, on alert. They've been on since, since 12 o'clock. The cemetery department. Uh, is working in coordination with DPW because all these departments are separate but they work together during a situation like this and all of it is under the control of the Director of Civil Defense. Uh, Governor Weld approximately 10.30 this morning dis declared a, a state of emergency for the state of Massachusetts and uh, that in effect puts the Civil Defense in charge in each municipality to take care of of all of the needs of, of the community, of the, of the people in the community during this type of a situation. Um, once again, you're watching some storm footage and you can see as, as this goes on, the snow intensifies. Um, I think probably it, the total run time on this is probably close to eight to 10 minutes. And just during that period of time from, from start to just about the finish of this, you can see the intensity of the snow picking up. So we thank uh, George DeSalnias for his, his uh, footage and certainly George and many other WCAT uh, volunteer reporters or producers will be out covering the storm so that we can give you all of the up-to-date information you need to know and also the information that you want to know as to exactly how bad the storm is and what effect it's having on the town of Winthrop. Um, I think at this point in time we'll, we'll watch the footage and um, we'll go to Bob DeLeo in a second. Let me see if there are, there's some other numbers that I can give you. Again, the civil defense number is an important number. Uh, 1185, do not call the Winthrop Police Department. Do not call the fire department unless you have a life-threatening situation. Um, that only ties up the telephones in the event there is a situation where someone is you know, injured or some a type of a health problem. So please, do not call the police or fire department 
unless you have a dire, life-threatening emergency situation. Uh, as I mentioned to you before, the, the Paul Revere Bus Company is standing by in case there is a, a need for evacuation. Um, there is a crew from Contaldo Ambulance that's been dedicated to the town for the day, along with a chair vehicle, and, and, and again, if it's necessary. The Winthrop Hospital is on standby alert. There's roughly 30 beds that are available in the event that we have to evacuate any of the, um, any of the uh, nursing homes. And I think we're going to go right now to Bob DeLeo. We have him on the line, and let's see if I can pick him up here. Bob DeLeo. I think I lost him. What line is he on? Anybody know? Line one? Okay, we'll try to get Bob back. I, we, I guess we lost him. Line two. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Just speaker? I right, hit the button first. Bob DeLeo. Uh, vacationing in Cancun, I understand. I understand you're down on Cape Cod. Yeah, 